Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I teach you really cool jumping animation with using shader factor. So firstly guys, I take cube and change cube size. So go to here and size I take 25 centimeter. All size take 25 and fill it check and fill it radius I take only one centimeter. See right. So go to display select our shading lines right and now I take cloner so I go to more graph and use cloner guys select this cube and make child with cloner so select cloner and change mode mode I take grid array and count this one guys count I take like 20 and mid count take 0 it's automatically take 1 and same third count I take 20 and increase size size I take like decrease like 500 and may take 0 and third one size 500 see guys this is my simple cubes right okay now guys I apply shader factor so select this cloner and I go to more graph effector and use shader this one yes and guys I create material for this shader so I go on create and new material open this material so guys I take only color and this is my texture and take noise this one and click on this noise yes and guys right click on here take animate guys it's not animate so animate speed I take one yeah and you can increase global scale like randomly like 200 percent yes and low clip increase like 50 percent see guys this is my shader right so close guys apply this material on shader and go to back and play guys this is not animate so change some settings so select this shader and parameter and position check and y position increase like take like this and rotation take randomly like this so go to back and play okay now guys I go to shading here and go on shader and take this one channel use color yes go to back and play see guys that's really cool right so go to color take white yes see guys that's really good okay guys change some setting parameter so I increase frame like 500 and take full guys select the shader and parameter and y axis I increase like 200 yeah 200 is good and guys scale size this one I take scale size randomly like minus one yeah and this my rotation take like 360 so go to back and play see that's really cool right okay so guys this is my first effect and now I create second effect so guys select this cloner and create copy the shortcut command is same control C and V and guys this time I take spare and spare radius I take only 5 centimeter this my spare this one so guys select this cube and unchild select this spare and make child with cloner one yeah and guys select cloner and up 
like this and play see guys this like jumping animation but this is not correct and not so cool so stop guys select the shader and same create duplicate control c and v select clone of one and i go to effector delete the shader select this shader one and drag and drop right so guys change only shader one this my spare and take scale size like five yes and why scale size increase i take like 300 centimeter so go to back and play right see guys you can change also speed so stop select this one this is my material this is my spare material so open and color change animation speed i take like two so go to back and play okay so stop go to back is too much speed i take only one so close open this one material this one and this time speed i take like two and go to back and play okay so guys speed only i take only one one and one so play yeah this one is much better right okay and last thing guys i apply tags so stop i apply tags so this is my cube cube cloner so right click on cloner and simulation tag and this time use rigid body actually this one collider body yes and inheritance tag apply tag to children and use all and guys this is my spare cloner and right click simulation tag and this one apply rigid body tag yes and inheritance tag apply tag to children and all and guys important part force i take 10 and follow rotation take 5 yeah go to back and play yes see guys this is really cool animation right great so guys stop go to back and i go to front view panel select this cloner and little bit down yes go to back and play yeah this much better right okay guys now i apply material so stop i go to create and load material select and open apply this is my purple material on spare and yellow material on cube yes it's really colorful and vibrant right so stop guys i take camera and camera check guys i create camera animation so first camera angle like this and check and go to last frame i go to last like 500 and camera angle like this yes and press this animation key right so play yeah that's really good right so guys stop and last thing i apply light go to file and merge select cpod studio light and open and uncheck camera guys go to front view panel and floor and background and down yes and guys also change this background color so unfold this floor and background select this one this is my flow material 
this one and open guys change background material click and gradient check guys i take purple material purple color and press ok and second one little bit darker purple and take this one yes right this is my material so close and render preview simple yeah background is good right okay so guys stop now set light this one and go on mid that's it guys and go to back guys all is good i go to render setting and take mb occlusion and maximum sample increase 1 to 8 accuracy i take 100 percent and global illumination indirectly catch a i take low for fast render setting and this my anti take only geometry guys if your system configuration is better you can take best otherwise you can take only geometry and this my save file path format i take jpeg sequences you can take avi movie and mp4 jpeg sequences and desktop create new folder like renders and take any file name output and use all frame that's it guys so close and render right okay so guys my tutorial is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and you can download project files from my website thank you